welcome back to my channel. I am so glad everyone stopped by today because I've got a really cute project. We're going to do another video game themed character. I'm super excited for this one. I actually got commissioned for this and it is super cute and super creepy. <laughs> But yeah, the character I'm going to make today is going to be Tattletale. If you guys don't know what Tattletale is, it's a horror themed video game out there that is based around evil Furbies. <laughs> it's super cute, it's super creepy, and I absolutely love it and I'm so glad I got commissioned to do this piece. And I really hope you guys enjoy it too. So let's get started before Mama shows up. <laughs> okay, first thing we're going to do is work on our clay. I'm going to start with Tattletail's face and belly. They're basically one solid piece, so I'm going to lay out a bunch of clay in the shape that I like, and then we'll start working more on the face. For the eyes, I'm going to do what I've done with a couple other pieces in my videos, and I'm going to use these glass circles as a base to build the clay up around. That way I can get a more round shape while working. Next is the eyelids around the eyes and then blending it into the face. Okay, for the snout, I'm going to cut a nice little hole, and then I'm going to place a lump of tin foil there for the base of the snout. I'm doing this so if I decide I want to take the tin foil out, I can, because otherwise it's going to be locked inside the clay. After I have my tin foil covered, I'm going to start shaping it, adding the mouth and the nose and different details like that. Okay, now I'm going to work on the ears. These are pretty simple. I cut out some paper, that way I have a rough idea of the shape and size that I want. And I'm going to kind of follow that while I'm shaping the clay. Next, I'm going to add a wire to them and start building clay up around the wire. I'm going to have them connected like this so that when the piece is done, you can wiggle the ears around and slightly pose them a little bit. Okay, now for Tattletail's cute little feet. To do this, I'm going to lay some clay out as the base of the feet, and then I'm going to start building up so that I have 
pretty much his ankles started. And then I'm going to start on his toes and start blending everything together. And I'll probably give him some toenails. I know he doesn't have them, but I thought they'd make the toes look really cute. Lastly, I'm going to put a nice hole in the base of the foot, that way I can connect it to the wire and make them poseable as well. Now on to the painting. First thing I'm going to do for the painting is I'm going to cover everything in a rough layer of kind of a tannish brown color because all of his clay pieces other than his ears are going to be kind of a skin color. So it's going to take a few different coats to get the right color. But I'm going to start with this, and then I will start adding more details once I am happy with the color. You'll probably notice that I have a bit of cardboard underneath Tattletail's face and belly. Um, I pretty much glued this on. I did two layers of this because the clay is pretty fragile, and I've got such a wide piece of clay. I wanted to make sure that it wouldn't crack. So I put a few layers of cardboard and glued it together, that way I would add some extra strength to the piece. After I have the skin color that I like, I'm going to start adding the details like painting his eyes, the inside of his mouth, and then painting his little heart nose pink. For his clay ears, all I'm going to do is paint the inside part a nice lavender color and then the part where the wire is running through, I'm going to do a nice dark purple, kind of matching his fur. All my painting is done I'm going to resin them and then let them sit overnight until they dry. Okay on to cutting out the fabric. I have drawn out the rough idea of how his body is going to be shaped. Um, he's pretty much like a weird egg shape so I've got his front and his back here. You can see that I drew out where his face and belly is going to be. That part I'll cut out and then I will glue this part around the face and belly. Okay, my resin is dried and my clay pieces are ready to work with now. 
First thing I'm going to do is make the wire for the feet and then I'm going to connect that to the back of Tattletail's head and belly. I added a little bit of cardboard over this part where it connects to the face and belly just to give it a little bit more strength. After that, it's time to glue the fur around his face and belly. Next is to glue a nice strip of purple fabric around his ankles and sew this to the front fur that's connected to his bottom part of his belly. Now I'm going to sew his tail along with the little tuft that goes between his ears. Once his tail is finished, I'm going to stuff it and then connect it to his back piece. Then I just need to sew the front half of him to the back half of him. When we get to the top, I'm going to glue on the ears along with a little tuft of fur and he'll be all finished. And that is how I made Tattletail. I think he came out really cute, kind of creepy, but that's what Furbies are and that's what Tattletail is. He's cute and creepy and weird and everything everyone should love when something is super annoying. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you leave me a like, subscribe if you haven't done that, and if you guys have any other video game characters that you'd like to see me make, leave a message down below and I will see what I can do. You guys have a wonderful day now. Bye!